To some, he is an enigma. To others, a hero. But to most, Wu-Tang Clan co-leader Bitch Tamer is simply known as a god walking amongst men. When asked about his various titles, he responded with humility. Justly deserved. What up, Wu? Hope you all liked the intro. Hopefully, the bitch tamer isn't letting his recent successes all get to his head. But anyway, here's some good attacks he had from this past war. So, he's going in on the enemy. And this time, he's using an interesting tactic known as the Eight Valk Raid. Such a tactic is almost unheard of. Very creative. And at first, I thought everything must be going wrong. But it was his intention to have this queen travel down this side of the base. And then as you can see, he actually inserts her into the first layer of the base to take out those defenses that are in the second layer of the base. Using a rage spell to rage both the healers and the queen so that she can get past those point defenses and that expo without dying. So he slips her under there, similar to a doctor's scalpel doing a little nipple job. Just slip right under the flesh. And then you will see soon the golem coming up on top, the barb king, and about eight fiery red-headed warriors. Um, so he miscalculated that minion up there, didn't take out the builder's hut, but luckily his troops, the valks and the barb king, just destroyed that and then went back into the center of the base. Um, Pops a heal spell down, keeps those Valkyries from dying. And as you can see, they just start to rip up the center of the base, even as the queen is going along the bottom where she was inserted. And guess what? He's got cleanup whiz. He's got extra wall breakers. He just swags down there. And more importantly, he's got hogs. And guess what? The enemy Lava Hound didn't even pop. So what happens when the enemy Lava Hound doesn't pop is you don't have to worry about it because you just let it do its minimal damage on your troops and you can win the raid without killing it. So That's how you deal with Lavas. Interesting 8 Valk attack by the Bitch Tamer. So the bitch tamer comes in on this base, the enemy's number two, I believe it was. And as you can see, he's coming in with a stoned attack of some sort. And by stoned, I mean three golems minimum, as is necessary for any stoned attack. Shout out to our member, Stoned Henge. Like Stonehenge, but stoned. You get it? It's kind of funny, he's like a stoned henge. Anywho, all humor aside, his stones start going in. The hound bursts, he uses some poison to take out the pups. And he has driven his heroes into the core. And he uses a four finger drop, two heal spells side by side, oscillating vibrating and then you have the swarm of hogs um interesting because we sometimes refer to the hogs as black pork extra crispy burnt bacon or sometimes higgers which rhymes with a naughty word uh, not gonna lie um very interesting that in new york it has now been ruled that you will be fined $250,000 for failing to refer to a transgendered by their proper um, title. 
for example, if you call them Mr. or Mrs. or he or she instead of J or uh, here, like his, her, then you will be fined $250,000. Yet what's funny is if you were to call a black guy a nigga, then you'd be fined nothing. Granted, you'd get hit in the face, but what's well, wrong with this country, you know? I guess the squeaky wheel gets the grease. You open your mouth wide enough, people will listen. Now I got nothing against transgendered folk. I have no biases or anything. But to be fined $200,000 for calling someone he or she instead of je or here, it's ridiculous. America, you need to get your shit together. Um, anyway, side rant. The attack's wrapping up. GG to the god amongst men. Hopefully you don't let the fame get to your head, bro. Good attacks, but calm it down a bit. Bye-bye.